Hey guys, the Tensity here, and in this video I wanted to go ahead and showcase my last project for a little while, reworking Guppy's Elevator. Now, this mod has been titled ZT Functional Elevator, because I've actually paid for the assets as well for the rights to be able to publish it. I'm giving full credit to Guppy where it's deserved though, as a lot of the animations, or a portion of them anyway, uh, were originally designed by Guppy, Kerr, and the ability uh, to go from one flight to another, well, that was kind of set up by Guppy Kerr as well. Although I've added a few things. So you'll notice the workbenches here. We've got 50 iron, 50 forged iron, 50 wood, 25 mechanical parts, 25 electrical parts, and 200 nails. Now this could be adjusted at a certain time, but for now those are the required resources to craft the workable elevator. Now, crafting it does take up to 10 minutes. This has been reduced from the default 24-ish minutes based on the type of resources and the amount I put in as required. Now, if we move over here, you will notice that this is the way I've got it set up. Um, my understanding, uh, based on what I've seen from Guppy and what I've done here, it takes three wide and three deep blocks to make the elevator fit. Now this said, you also need, well, we use plates here. I'm going to go ahead and remove these plates to make this a little bit easier and also to showcase what you need to do here. All right, so this is the the frame. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight high, technically, to fit both parts of the elevator. So eight high, th the elevator shaft itself takes three deep and three wide. Technically, that makes it five blocks around so we've got one two three four five one two three one two three four so technically it takes four deep and five wide with this type of frame in order to fit the elevator entirely let's go ahead and place the elevator. Well, you'll notice here that the elevator kind of looks like this without anything in it. Well, I've added colliders as well. That was one of the things I did, making it to where you can't just go in the elevator from the sides, accidentally uh, fall, off, fall out of it. You also can't jump above it. Uh, just kind of some immersion and that kind of thing. So there should be different plates from my understanding, but we're going to use the concrete plate, set it to advance, rotate this thing until, boom, it's facing that way. And what we are going to do is add the plates all around it. This is kind of showcasing what you need to do with the plates to make it all look really nice. And then one more here, and boom, look at that. Well, you know, we see that the plates look kind of funny still, so we're going to go ahead and add additional plates throughout the sides. This is just going to make it look a little nicer. We'll keep doing that here. And if you'll notice, too, That was required there, so ignore me. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of what it's looking like here, right? And what we can do as well for some added immersion. We're gonna go ahead and add this instead. Uh, kind of just a fun way to be able to walk down and up it. So. 
we will actually showcase what it does when you go in and out. A little bit different. Mostly the same, but a little different. First, we'll use a door. You'll notice that button on the left goes in and out, lights up. You go in, and it also had a sound effect too. Well, we are going up to the second floor. Door is opening. Now you can walk out. I've got about three to four seconds now instead of the default or previous one. And oh no, we're in here. We're stuck. Well, you know, again, you can't jump on the sides anymore or jump above with the added collider. But let's go ahead and use the door again. Well, the light kind of turns on, letting you know the door is opening. But we want to go down. So now it says lower level instead of two. And door is opening as well. And the light kind of goes up here as well. So depending, regardless of whether you're up here or down, this light will always turn on when you are using the door. This way, if you're playing with other people, they'll kind of have an idea that the elevator is going down. And finally, if you're up here and you try to use the door, it's going to go, it's going to open up here or down there first before it goes up. You'll notice does the animations and it goes up and yeah I mean this is the fun stuff so this time we're on the outside uh, we already made it we want to go back in so use door light turns on go inside and it's gonna go down and of course it's got that three to four seconds with adjusted animation to look a little bit cleaner all right so finally you'll notice now when placing it, it is automatically closed on both sides. You use it, the door opens exactly how you'd want. So that is fixed. Alright, I think the only other thing I would consider doing, and I might tweak it before release, is adjusting the door open sound if it works. Yeah, I want that go to go away. If anything, I want to add a silent sound so that the only sound you hear is the elevator itself opening. Well, this has been Z-Tensity, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I wasn't intending on doing any other projects, but my brother-in-law and I, well, we kind of wanted an elevator. I found guppies, I liked it, and I wanted to tweak it make it better, make it cleaner, more immersive. Guppy's a powerful mod author, uh, but this was back in A17, A18, uh, release for A18, but, you know, compatible with the other two. Well, I brought it uh, back, thinned it out, make it look cleaner on both sides, gave it the animations, the sound effects, the visuals, yeah, all that good stuff. Still works. It works with a workbench now. Being able to find it in the building category, finding it in the science category, and finally, you can also find it in creative mode. So if you do CM on to turn it on, you'll now have this thing over here. This is with SMX, so it'll look a little bit different on vanilla, or if you're using a different UI. But they all should have a creative menu option. Well, we can search workable elevator for elevator. You can pull 500 versions of these things and boom, you can just work with this forever and ever until you get something you like. Now, I would just do this for testing purposes or understanding how to use it. Uh, it'll be much more immersive if you instead uh, use the crafting variant and you work for it. But I wanted to showcase how you can use the mod, how it works, how it looks, workable elevator description, somehow you've managed to craft a working elevator to help you escape zombies, or even make navigating your safe haven just that much easier. All right, well, this has been a showcase of the workable elevator. I've done everything I can do to make this functioning, to make it immersive similar to the original, but designed for A19 and most likely beyond. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and catch me at my next project.